Williamson will not play. Misses his fourth straight start, his fifth straight game if you include the North Carolina game. It's the lineup that has been familiar the last few games since Zion's injury. Trey Jones goes in and gets the first bucket of the second half. He has six. Three of ten in the first half and three, now three of 11. And Childress gets his second half started with a triple. That's big. Childress shakes Jones, not an easy thing to do. And Childress has another three, and he's feeling it. Wake Forest up by seven. Wow. Jab step between the legs, step back. Nothing but an air ball. Barrett pushing it by Horde. Reddish spotting up, takes his time, lets it down. Childress from the corner. Buckets for three, and Wake Forest is back on top. No, he has 15. No hesitation on that jump shot. And Brandon Childress, who tied for the 13th time tonight, finds Barrett gets in the paint, scoops it up, and scores! At five. Andy Brown. Brown with another big bucket. Shondi Brown now with 17. His ability to go left and use that strong upper body to be able to create space and step away and knock down that 15-footer is incredible. Now it's O'Connell. One and delivers the three ball. Shoot him at a higher clip as Duke comes down the stretch of the season. Childress. John D. Brown, good hands to knock Barrett off his rhythm, but now Barrett shakes and gets in the paint. R.J. Barrett. Barrett gets in the paint. Switch to the right hand finds. And now Wake Forest will use his last timeout. They've got time to get a quick two, and Childress does just that. With 7.4 to go, now they're going to have to foul. Oh, and yes, and now there is a turnover immediately. Oh, yeah. Now Wake Forest has a chance to take the lead. OKK has the ball. Childress is who they want to have it. Childress puts it up. Tough shot. Brown gets the rebound. 